Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to revisit Marvel Spider-Man Remastered on Steam Deck Steam OS with the FSR 3.0 frame generation mod by Luke FC. And I'm going to do it with the Steam version of the game because like back when the mod was in its infancy, it only worked for the non-Steam version. Okay, uh, if you installed the mod with the Steam version, it will crash the game. So yeah, now it's been updated. So I'm using the latest version of the mod as of recording, it's 0.10.2. And you can see I don't own this game. So shout out to you Sneaky Snake for sharing his Steam library with me so I could test this out. Okay, and you can see my playtime's only like 52 minutes. I've just been testing it around with it. So let's play the game. I've already installed the mod. I'll show you how to install the mod at the end of the video. It's really easy right now. Okay. So yeah, I might be revisiting some of the like games that I've done in the past because uh, a lot of these has been updated. The mods been improved. Before we had like UI flickering, artifacting, ghosting, stuff like that. But yeah, a lot of games has been fixed and this is one of them. Okay, so let's check out my in-game settings. Okay, display and graphics. Okay, so display resolutions on 1280 by 720 which is uh, more or less in sync with the Steam Deck. Uh, in this, like, if you're playing on the Steam Deck, you're probably like setting it to 1280 by 800. Okay, so it might like the performance might be a little bit worse if you up the resolution. Okay, and you can see here DLSS frame generation. I could toggle this on and off. It's because I've got the mod on. Okay, so I'm going to keep it on. Frame generation on. And then upscale method, I'm going to keep it at FSR 2.1 and upscale quality on quality the graphic preset i'm gonna set it at uh let's set it high okay and yeah let's let's run the game so we should get like high 50s to 70 frames i think that's uh that's what i've been getting when i've been testing this out and if you don't have the mod on you're probably getting around 30-ish, 40 frames. Okay, so you can see... Yeah. 60-ish, 70 frames. Sometimes it drops to the high 50s. Not a big deal, but it runs really, really smooth. And you can see... Uh, see the UI? Like, there's no flickering anymore. And, you know... No ghosting, no artifacting, no input lag. Like, it feels really, really good. Like, this is the ultimate way to play this game on the Steam Deck. Audibly, it's like, it's really, really good. And smooth, the graphics is good. I'm going to test it out on the Legion Go. Because that has a 144 hertz screen. So, maybe we can get... And it, it's more powerful. Maybe we can, like, get it to look better and more smooth. Yeah, stay tuned for that video. But uh, look at this, man. It's so good. It's just so good. So if you're on the fence about this mod, um, and you really like Spider-Man game, or like Miles Morales, Ratchet & Clank, Hogwarts Legacy, all these games, like um, Lords of the Fallen, these games, like, they don't even have those UI flickering anymore. Uh, which was one of my concerns, like, when it, this mod launched. But, yeah, it's getting updated, it's getting fixed, and, yeah, these games just look so good right now on the Steam Deck. Like, it's amazing. So, yeah, if you're on the fence about it, yeah, well, I think you could try it out. It is a paid mod. Just to remind you guys, it's not free at the moment, but it's only a few dollars, so yeah. I don't think it really matters that much. And yeah, the mod's getting updated, new games are coming out with the support, and yeah, I think it's really, really good. Okay, so let's go back to my um, desktop mode, and I'll show you how to install this mod. See you back in desktop mode. Okay, so before we go any further, I'd like to introduce you to my secondary channel. It's called Growing Up Cooking. Other than gaming, cooking is also a passion of mine. So I'd like to share some of my cooking dishes, recipes on that channel. If you like gaming, you like eating, and you want to support me, please go over there and subscribe to that channel. I'll give you some sneak preview right now. 
We're gonna kill it. Are you ready? Oh, oh my god. Oh god, just put the sauce in. Woo! Mm. So did you enjoy that? Watch the full video at Growing Up Cooking. Links in the description. Okay, welcome back to my Steam Deck desktop mode. The first thing you need to do is locate your games folder. So go here to your Dolphin file manager in home. Make sure you click the three lines here and show hidden files. This is checked because we're going into a hidden folder. This one, .steam. Then go inside Steam, Steam Apps, Common. This is where all your like Steam games, the game folder should be installed here. So locate your game, Marvel Spider-Man Remastered. It's right here. This is the root of the game folder where the EXE is. So Spider-Man.exe is right here. Here's where we're going to install the mod files. Okay, so I'm going to locate my mod files. I put them inside my downloads folder and then look FC mods. Okay, so FSR 2, FSR 3. The latest version of the mod as of recording is 0 0.10.2. Okay, so go inside here and I'm going to use the 2.10 version because Marvel Spider-Man Remastered uses FSR 2.1. That's why I'm using the 2.10. So open the 2.10.zip and I'm going to extract this file, FSR 2, FSR 3.asi, over. I already have it, so I'm just going to overwrite. And then common.zip. We need the two files only. We only need winmm.dll and winmm.ini for this game. We don't need the optional files. So just total three files, three mod files. And we're basically done here. And then open up your Steam. Locate your game. Go into its properties. And make sure in the launch options you have this. Okay. So this one's a little bit different. Normally we just have this wine DOL overrides equals win mm equals n comma b and then percentage command percentage. This is like activates the win mm dot DOL to like kickstart the mod. Okay, but now we also got this force like uh, sorry hyphen force reflex markers. This code enables you to toggle on the DOSS um, frame generation that button in the option. If you don't have this, it'll be grayed out. So make sure you have this as well. I'll put this in the description so you don't have to type it out. You can just copy and paste it. Okay, and yeah, that's that's basically it. That's basically it. So yeah, that's how you install the mod. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.